Hi everyone, welcome to the beautiful Theatre Royal Haymarket, the current home of Heathers the Musical. My name is Paul Taylor Mills and together with Bill Kenwright, I have the honour of producing Heathers. We're here this afternoon as an event for Masterclass to allow people the opportunity to learn a little bit more about what happens. With that in mind, follow me. This is the Royal Box. Uh, this is where I sit to watch the show uh, because it means I can get out quickly and it means because I'm so blind I can have a very, very good view. And then up here is the Royal Retiring Room. Whenever there's royalty in the theatre, this is where they come. Lots of very, very famous royalty on these walls that have had a drink in the Royal Retiring Room. And then this is the way backstage. So this is towards the dressing rooms. Just here, this is where our three Heathers lives. Carrie is actually two floors up. She's in this gigantic dressing room, which is a bit like a, um, a flat. Uh, let's see if Jodie Steele is in here. It's good. Come on in. <laughs> Just making myself look uh, okay for camera. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had this many people in this dress. <laughs> Talk to us about these scrunches. So as you can see, we've got the yellow ones, the green ones, and the red ones, which come all the way down here. Cause Who's got the most? That's what we really want to know. Have you counted? <laughs> I think in here it might be me because. I think Chana is, well, she is actually the only one who wears the scrunchie. Right. Um, but I think oh, Veronica, yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah so it is, it is Chana's thing. Um, but I think Veronica might be pretty close. In fact, we're all pretty close. It's just, I think, because the red scrunchie is the, the actual kind of head that's thing, yeah. you know. So we're going to go back through this door. Or you can die alone. You can fly with eagles, or if you prefer. Keep on testing me, and end up like us. Who has the most costumes? So Brandon's one of our male yeah. ensemble who plays a lot of different characters over the course. The parents have a lot of costumes, so the guys who yeah. play the parents and the teachers because they swap and they've got multiple roles, they switch them out. And yeah. they're teenagers in the show. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens on this spaceship looking thing here? We've got quite a lot of lighting cues in this show. Um, she calls the lights and the sound from here. There's only, we don't really have any major flying pieces. There's one moment where we fly in one banner here and she also sometimes cues um, entrance and exits. So she'll cue someone up there. Yeah, yeah. The quick change area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. quick change yeah. area. Um, Jodie has a few. I have here. my um, into my dressing gown because originally Andy said you're gonna have to do the dead Chana scene where we do the nightmare where Veronica's you know just had some fun with Jodie and uh, he was like you're gonna have to do it in United because we won't make the quick change and I was like. I will make that quick change. <laughs> uh, so we have about 20 seconds to get from the China outfit into the bed time outfit and it just happens in there with Rose and we've got it down to two. So it's like shirt, skirt, blazer, mm -hmm. and, and then yeah. But and we quick, do Sophie's quick change. Quick change happen all over the stage. Yeah. yeah. That's where it's easiest. We have this Some on stage. There. So oh. that's it. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make our way onto stage. <laughs> Color me stoked! I'm so happy! <laughs> Come and see us, we end on the 24th of November, don't miss out because the hype is real! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>